Hello everyone, um, sorry I haven't been making videos um, recently, I've um, just been really busy with other stuff, um, but next year I really want to make something off this channel, so I'm going to get back into making videos. So to help me with that I thought I'd do just a really quick video today on something I've been posting about on some of Facebook groups, uh, my Twitter and Instagram account. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I'm Jay and this is my 3D adventure. Okay, so what is it we're going to be talking about today? Well, next to me here is my Printbot Metal Plus, which now sadly could be considered a rare item um, now that Printbot have gone out of business. Um, hopefully Brooke will be coming back with something in the coming years that we'll all get behind um, but until then I really like the platform of the Metal Plus um, and I quite tinker with it quite a lot I've added various different things to it in the past um, but this time round I'm uh, adding the Prometheus system which is a dual extruder single nozzle system by uh, Distech Automation so there will be links in the description to all of the, the relevant stuff. Uh, but what basically this is, is a two geared stepper motor um, extruder system uh, which comes down to a Y splitter which then goes into the Prometheus um, hot end. So yeah, I've basically just added this onto the printer bot. Um, and I'm just going to do a few sort of shots of it video wise and then talk about it um, but a lot of the information and the best place to get it from is the Distech website um, if there's anything specific to the printer bot that I've added then I will explain it but otherwise head over to there uh, and you'll get all the information so I'm just going to bring the camera in for some close-ups of different parts uh, and then we'll talk about it okay so the first part to look at in the Prometheus system are the Prostruders. So these are 5 to 1 geared um, gear stepper motors um, and they're acrylic um, construction. Now you can see here we've got some 3D printed parts because um, the, the ones I got with the Kickstarter are actually broke but all the files for the Prometheus system are actually on Thingiverse so if you need to print replacement parts um, or if you want to modify them or whatever you can they're all available so yeah so these basically are what gives the the Prometheus system the ability to pull the filament out quick enough and clean enough to give you um, good retracts so yeah these are pretty good stepper motors so, um, not really a lot to say about them. I, when I built these, I actually mirrored them so that they can basically sit next to each other and have the handles for inserting the filament on either side. Uh, we've just got then small PTFE tubes to guide the filament in. Um, and then obviously the PTFE tube on the back. Uh, and then there's clips that holds all of the PTFE tubes in. Um, I'll see if I can get um, a, a shot coming down so you can have a look and see sort of inside uh, the extruder. So this is basically the prostruder from looking in the top. So you've got your filament coming in from this side, um, a small bearing uh, under this screw and then obviously your drive gear here and then this is your output. So you can see that it's a fairly tight path um, and then if you, you can adjust that by pushing the PTFE tubes in slightly more if you want to. Um, or I believe there might be um, a remix for this on Thingiverse but I haven't looked in uh, quite a while. So yeah that gives you an overview of the filament path and the way that the prostruder works. So you can also see here, if I just zoom out a bit, um, I had to basically find a way of mounting 
the two prostruders to the printer bot. Um, and this is a modified mount that I found on Thingiverse. Um, so the mount was originally for, um, it's, it's for the Prometheus system, system, but for attaching it to a 2020 extrusion. So I just modified it slightly to basically allow me to, to bolt it to the top of the printer. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description to this uh, unmodified mount as well, if you want to use that for your system. So yeah, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so the middle step in the Prometheus system is the Y splitter. So basically there's now quite a few different Y splitters available on Thingiverse, um, actually including the Pro Feeder, which is what this is called. Um, and it's basically just uh, a, a printed feeder that allows two inputs to come into one output. Um, and I believe this is printed in nylon. Um, this is the one that came with the Prometheus system from Kickstarter. So there's not really a lot to say about this other than um, it's got um, embedded brass couplers. Um, two on the top one on the bottom and then you just use um, Bowden clips basically to keep the tubes in now originally so that at the bottom here this is um, a 50 millimeter piece of PTFE tube now originally the system used um, a peak a tube made of peak um, but through sort of testing that this tech have done and probably um, customer feedback they've change some of the commands which I'll talk about um, when we look at the hot end that um, basically now can use a PTFE tube um, so they also do um, if you want to add this system to a, to a printer that's already say running a, a, an E3D V6 they now actually do their own heat break that um, allows for filament switching so yeah, that's something to have a look into if you want to upgrade. But yeah, not really a lot to say about the, the Pro Feeder other than um, it's, it's printed nicely, it's all bolted together um, and does exactly what it's supposed to do. <coughs> okay, so let's move on to the last part of the Prometheus system uh, and that's the Prometheus uh, hot end. Now this is a version 1 hot end I believe, um, the version 2 has got a slightly different um, heat block, um, but essentially they're the same thing. So this uh, Prometheus hot end is an all metal hot end, um, and what makes it a little bit different from other hot ends is that it's completely customizable in um, heat zone and cold zone and transition zone and all of those zones basically. Um, again, this tech automation website is the best place to get all your information on the setup that you can create with this system. Um, basically, it uses um, these one piece nozzles. Um, so, this is a 0.6, and the one that's on there is a 0.4. But it's the, the nozzle that's sort of the secret to the, the way the Prometheus system works. Um, and it also uses these sort of aluminium nuts to customise the heat zone. Um, and I can show you a, a photo of that a bit later on. So basically what, what the system does here is using a piece of PTFE tube and the one piece nozzle. Um, and then the different commands that are used when you purge the filament and feed the filament in uh, creates like a, a more of a pointy end on the filament when it's retracted um, which then helps when you go back into the V split the Y split sorry so yeah so that basically is the system as a whole um, now you see here so this is one of the things that I had to add to the printer bot to make the, the hot end fit so this is basically just a customized um, bracket that um, sort of shares some similarities to um, 
the original Prusa MMU mount. Um, basically just this back bit. Um, but it, it's quite modified, so it, it's very loosely based on it. Um, but yeah, so we have basically a part that is attached, attaches to the back with some screws on the back. And then a, basically a, a, v, a groove mount system for the hot end to sit in. And then a cap basically that goes over the top and tightens it down. So that was obviously, that's unique to this printer bot setup. Because um, I originally was obviously doing the printer bot multi which had like different uh, removable and replaceable heads. Um, but I scrapped that idea. But this works really well. It holds the the hot ends sufficiently. Um, I would say you have, or I certainly have seen that I've had to sort of potentially reduce the printing speed, um, and particularly the suggested jerk settings from Distech is 60 or maximum of 60 um, jerk. That's way too high for what I was doing. And I was finding when it was doing very small moves, the the head would vibrate so much that the, the printer would lose position. But putting that back down to basically what the printer bot default is, um, which is 10 I believe, 10 to 15, um, I've not had any problems with it losing positions on quick small moves. So yeah, so let's just reposition the camera and we can close this video okay so hopefully that gives you um, a brief overview of the Prometheus system um, you can also check out the video I actually did when I originally got the Prometheus system for my Delta printer um, when I got it first from Kickstarter I'll, I'll, I'll link that either in the description or in a thingy on the screen somewhere and that goes into a little bit more detail but this was just to, to show you that it can be mounted on a printer bot Metal Plus, basically. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail how it's all wired up, because basically you can fit this to any printer. Um, that is the advantage of it over other multi-material systems, is that you're not tied into one particular printer. Now I've had this on two printers at the moment. Um, it's not going to go on the d bot because potentially I've got something else in line for that. Um, but yeah, you can adapt it, make brackets, uh, do whatever you want to do to get it to work on your system. All you need is the ability to connect two um, extruder motors, um, and that's basically it. Everything else is done in the firmware, and then in your slicer software. So, if you want any more information, go to Distech Automation's website. Um, if you'd like me to do anything more about the Prometheus system, be it um, something to do with the slicing setup or um, anything basically you'd like to know, just put it down in the comment section or drop me a line on Twitter. Um, yeah, so hopefully this video will come across okay for my first video in a while. Um, again, if you've got any comments on the actual video uh, and how I can improve also put that in the comment section or hit me up on Twitter so yeah uh, thanks for watching um, and until next time which will probably hopefully be after Christmas there'll be more regular content um, keep on making so I'll see you next time